This guide provides correct practices and procedures for the construction of flexible pavement, commonly known as bitumen road. Bituminous roads have been used since more than 100 years. The loads are distributed point to point, within small area. The bitumen surface sustains plastic deformation, and so are called flexible pavements. Before construction of road, it is very important to determine the proportion of bitumen to be used. Various properties of locally available aggregates, coarse and filler, should also be tested. Based upon material quality, a proper bitumen mix design needs to be performed. While performing mix design, ensure gradation of aggregates, percentage of bitumen to be used, method of mixing, method of heating of material, temperature at which it is to hold from plant, and temperature at which it is to be emptied on road. Construction of Bituminous Pavement the sketch shows various layers of a bitumen road. As per the sequence of construction, layers are, prime coat, binder coarse, tack coat, surface coarse, and seal coat. The surface upon which the bitumen mix is to be placed must be thoroughly cleaned. Only after the base coarse layer has been dried for at least 24 hours in dry weather, the preparation for laying a bituminous layer may start, by applying the prime coat. The surface to be primed should be free from irregularities, potholes, and depressions. Prime coat is a thin layer, sprayed uniformly on the road base course. The entire surface to be primed must be covered evenly. Ensure working of all the spray nozzles. Generally grade which used is VG40 for 0.7 to 1.0 kg per square meter. And the temperature of mix should be nearly 155 degrees Celsius. Prime coat's functions is to plug capillary voids and bind loose material, which overall helps to make the surface water resistant. The content depends upon porosity of surface. During prime coat applications, ensure that the spray nozzles at the correct height and are parallel to the road surface. Each point of the road should be sprayed from three separate jets. No bituminous mixtures should be placed until the prime coat has dried. Binder course is an intermediate course between the base and surface course. Nominal sized graded aggregates, including a filler, coated with bitumen is laid hot and is compacted to form a dense impervious layer. Aggregate gradation and bitumen content established by site trials. Rolling should be done until aggregates are embedded in bitumen. Common practice is to have binder course thickness between 75 mm to 40 mm. The mix consists of well-graded aggregate, filler and bitumen, all mixed at hot mix plant. The material is transported at about 150 Celsius via dumpers, which is then emptied into paver. Pre-mixing The process of mixing road metal with bitumen, off the road, and then placing and consolidating the mixture on road. From point of both stability and economy, this method is superior to grouting method. It helps produce denser material. Grouting method. In this method, bitumen is poured on top of a consolidated layer of metal. Bitumen is allowed to be penetrate until every stone is covered with the binding material. It does not require any costly mixers. Paver is a machine used to spread premix. It is fitted with electronic sensing device, which helps to achieve required levels and slope. Commonly grade VG30 is used. The amount of bitumen added ranges from 4% to 5.5%, a percentage by weight of total mix weight. Bitumen add mixtures. CRMB, crumbed rubber modified bitumen is 10 mm or less grinded rubber added to increase temperature resistance and overall performance of the road. Cement or lime is also added to stiffen the asphalt, improve resistance to fractures, moisture stability and durability of the road. It is added about 2% to 3% of weight of the mix. A tack coat is normally applied to make the road surface sticky prior to surface course being applied. To ensure proper binding, the tack coat should be sprayed immediately before the surface coat is placed. Common practice is to use VG10 grade bitumen, with 0.35 to 0.45 kg per square meter of application. Surface course is commonly called carpeting. The mix must be designed to have a low percentage of air voids and good fatigue behavior. It consists of a mixture of aggregates, typically less than 25 mm up to 0.75 mm. 
The mixture must be manufactured in hot mix plant. In a hot mix plant, the aggregates should be heated first, before adding bitumen. Aggregates should be continually raked, to ensure thorough mixing, and even heating. Once the temperature of the aggregate reaches above 160 degrees Celsius, heated bitumen of 150 degrees Celsius is added to the aggregates. The mixing should take place in unheated frame. The aggregate and bitumen should then be thoroughly mixed within the temperature range of 135 degrees Celsius to 163 degrees Celsius, and then transferred to dumpsters for hauling. These are some components of hot mix plant. The bituminous paving machine, called paver, consists of two sections, the tractor and the screed. The tractor receives the asphalt mix, from the dump trucks, and then delivers to the screed. The screed spreads the asphalt on the surface that is to be paved. Allowable tolerances As water leads to deterioration of bitumen road, it is essential to have a void-free mixture. Various tolerances are listed in the shown table. Overall, the weight of each size calculated per design mix, should not vary by 5%, and the temperature of mix should not vary by more than 15%. Carpets are laid in single or double courses. The total thickness varies from 60 mm to 120 mm. Ensure proper batch report is received at site with each truckload. The beds should be sprayed with limited amounts of soapy water, thinned fuel oil, paraffin oil, or lime solution. Trucks used for hauling must be clean. Trucks should be covered suitable covering, to protect the asphalt from the weather. Mixture placing. The depth of the finished surfacing can be controlled using mild steel angles as side shutters. For example, an angle of 65 times 65 mm with an uncompact asphalt depth of 65 mm being placed, is required to achieve a compacted 50 mm surfacing depth. The super elevation should be controlled using 65 times 6 mm steel plate at intermediate points between the edge and the crown of the road. Compaction is important to achieve a dense carpet. It should be done by rolling in three stages. Breakdown rolling using either a heavy static roller of dead weight 8 to 10 tons or vibratory roller. Prevent standing on newly laid material. Use water over roller drum to prevent bitumen sticking. Temperature of mixture while rolling should be 90 degrees Celsius. Intermediate rolling can be done with high vibration settings and vibrator and final rolling done by light roller of weight 6 to 8 tons and at speed of less than 5 km per hour. Seal coat is a mixture of asphalt, mineral fillers, and various other mixtures, which can be applied directly to the top surface of an asphalt pavement. It can be applied by rubber mop, broom, or mechanical spray. Bitumen of grade VG10 should be used and dosage should be of half a kilogram per square meter. The function of seal coat is primarily to waterproof the pavement. The bitumen are grouped in different grades. Earlier, they were classified as grade 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, 100, and were based on penetration tests. Recently, grade 80 and 100 has been converted to VG10, grade 60 and 70 to VG30 and grade 30 and 40 to VG40. VG stands for viscosity and the numbers represent the viscosity of the bitumen. The table here shows the mixing, laying, and rolling temperature for various bituminous mixes of different grades. The temperature should be approximately 130 to 150 degrees Celsius while laying. The bitumen mix should have durability to resist weathering and abrasive actions. Weathering due to loss of volatiles in the bitumen and abrasion is accrued due to wheel loads which can cause tensile strains on surface. It should be flexible enough to resist the shrinkage and brittleness of the binder material. The finished pavement such as to avoid the skidding of the vehicle which depends upon the texture and the bitumen content. Adhesion and viscosity are important properties of bitumen. The bitumen roads are not suited for water-logged areas, and are unfavorably affected by action of weather. While installing ensure gradation of aggregates and temperature of bitumen is maintained as specified. If the road is constructed as per specification it will get 5 years life.